Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. Are you wondering how you can set up your iPhone without having to use an Apple ID? Although an Apple ID is generally required to access various Apple services on your device, it is possible to set it up without using any at first. In this video, I will show you how to set up your iPhone without Apple ID during the initial setup process. Let's go. Note that you can only set up your iPhone without Apple ID if the device is not iCloud locked. If you see the activation lock screen during setup, it means you can only proceed if you have access to the Apple ID that was originally used to register the device. When your iPhone reboots and you see the hello screen, swipe up and select the default language you want to set for your device. Next, choose your country of origin from the available list. If you have your current iPhone or iPad, you can use the Quick Start feature to automatically transfer data to the iPhone you're setting up. But if you don't have one, click Set Up Manually and follow the on-screen instructions to continue. Connect to an available Wi-Fi network nearby so you can easily restore your device over the internet later, especially if you have an existing backup on your iCloud account. Then wait a few minutes while Apple activates your iPhone and follow any on-screen prompts. Setting up your Face ID is optional at this point. You can always set it up later in your settings. On the other hand, creating a new device passcode is mandatory, so enter your new passcode and re-enter it to confirm. On the next screen, choose how you want to transfer data to your iPhone. You can restore it from your iCloud backup, restore from your Mac or PC if you have a copy from the Finder or iTunes, transfer directly from another iPhone, or move data from an Android device. If you are setting up your iPhone for the first time and don't have an iCloud account, select Don't Transfer Apps and Data instead. Next, set up your Apple Pay, or you can skip this step. You can also configure it later in Settings. When your iPhone reboots, unlock the screen and enter the new passcode you created earlier to access your device. Once you've successfully set up your iPhone, don't forget to sign up for a new Apple ID. As mentioned earlier, most Apple services are not available unless you are signed in, especially installing applications from the App Store. To learn how to create an Apple ID on your iPhone, click the tag in the upper right corner or find the link in the description box below. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.